Welcome out, gamers and game heads, to this RGL.GG Invite Highlander playoff match in the lower bracket happening between WJQ308, Chinese Military Shovel, and Yi Yi. I am Alto, joined by Zag to my side, Dolphin behind the camera as always. Zag, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing fantastic. We're back from a bit of a couple week break. We have our favorite aquatic mammal back behind the camera, ready to help us get these matches casted and we are into the playoffs already this is the lower bracket first round match so loser of this will be going home in fourth place that means no prize money no medal and the, essentially a season where you didn't get any of the rewards that you were fighting for we have chinese military shovel and we have yee -Yi. both of them are going to give it their all tonight to keep alive in the playoffs yeah and we've got chinese military shovel coming in off of a very close loss to 3600 back in that first round where despite a a, a lopsided lakeside they won two one on vigil then lost a a close one one two on upward dropping down here versus yi Yi, who had a, a much rougher experience against the naruto but if i'm yi at this point just making playoffs is somewhat of an accomplishment for me already you know this is only their second season in invite and they're able to beat out froggy land which is a much more pedigreed team so Night, which I think came third last season, or what their you know spiritual predecessor came third. So having you know being here right now is definitely a, an accomplishment for them in and of itself. But Shovel's a team we've seen have some extreme variants where when they look good, they they're really solid, and you know they're fighting with thirty six hundred for you know at least second, if not higher. They uh, they took a half off of Naruto in pregame tonight, but we've also seen them have some pretty pretty rough losses to teams and look really sloppy at times so he's definitely gonna be looking to capitalize on that yeah and we have three maps for you guys tonight pl vigil map one swift water as map two double back-to-back -back stopwatch coming up and then a tiebreaker on Asheville. so that koth map coming in third if needed so yeah double stopwatch coming here both these teams i'd call them stopwatch teams over koth teams for the most part uh let's see we have we have the bands list ye band lakeside shovel band steel Shovel picked Vigil. So Shovel picked Vigil over Asheville. So Shovel's, uh, this is Shovel's map pick, and they're apparently most confident on this one, taking this over to Yee. Yeah, they, they, they pulled the win on this against, uh, against 3600 last week. So that gave them a lot of confidence on it. Um, Asheville was a map that, you know, they haven't played. I'm, I'm a sub on the team, so I was helping out in the, the pick ban theory, as you could say it. So Asheville was somewhat of a question mark for them because the, the last time they played it was back in week two where they still had Eerie on heavy, Zuki on medic. So it was a bit of a, again, you know, they weren't, they were feeling pretty good on it, but it wasn't something they wanted to first pick. Although, you know, with scrims this week, maybe that'll uh, change going next week. So look forward to that, assuming that they do pull out the uh, W here, which I would say they are, despite their, you know, ups and downs, pretty solid favorites in this match. Yeah, they're definitely favorites. Uh, you mentioned the pedigree earlier. Uh, Chinese Military Shovel, tons of experienced players. Former league MVPs with Fallen Gord, former invite champions with Zukima, Exile, Yuri, just tons of tons of experience on this team. And their inconsistency has been kind of a strange thing this season because a team this uh, experienced should be able to kind of fix out their issues by at least come playoff time. And maybe that 2-1 loss against... Uh, 3600 that was pretty close as a sign of things improving uh, i feel like they, they've had some issues throughout the season with maybe motivation maybe roster just whatever but at this point they're probably looking to get down to the nitty-gritty you know fix all their issues and make a run deep into the playoffs definitely yeah and you know against that he's going to really has to hope that they're going to show some weaknesses because if shovel's playing to their potential i don't think there's a lot they can really do for that but what is a good sign for them, though, is that Vigil is a map that is quite snowball-y. While uh, Shovel did manage to beat 3600 on it last week, because we have Shovel running up right here. He's he still only... Oh, no, getting their ninth in, so it shouldn't... Yeah, we can run on the rosters real soon. quick, uh, yeah. right, as the teams are getting ready to ready up. So, with Chinese Military Shovel, we're going to have Blank on Scout, Soapy on Soldier, Melon on Pyro, Exile on Demo Man, Zukima on Heavy... Uh, let's see. Supreme Total Engineer. Who's that's the medic? That's gonna be that's gonna be spam fest. This is we've our, our roster's not updated. Spam fest on spam NG. fest on NG and Marty okay. or Supreme Toad on medic. So Marty on medic. That's interesting. Yeah, they've been running him all season ever since uh, medic, really? week, or I guess Lakeside week because I played on it. I played on okay. week. Uh, I'm not sure if we cast them after Lakeside week. Do not e either think we way. Did. Yeah, so we'll have Marty on medic, Fallen on sniper, and Evil on spy. 
And then over on the side of Yi Yi, Dot Wet on Scout, Nabla on Soldier, Pyrus on Pyro, Kura Beast on Demo, Witness from Witness Gaming on Heavy, Austin on Engineer, Sakura on Medic, Michael PC1 on Sniper, and Jay Yeezy on Spy. Yeah, and on paper, again, class discrepancy coming in in most of the roles in favor of Chinese military shovel. It's just the experience that comes with having a roster like this. Uh, in terms of what Yi needs, like the players they need to succeed for them to be competitive in this, I feel like the Exile versus Kirby matchup on Demo Man could be closer than a lot of people might give it credit for. Kirby has been pretty good this season overall, despite being relatively new to invite. So if he's able to kind of keep up on these payload maps, it's not Koth for the first two. So like the traditional thing where, you know, Demoman who spams more will get his team point control. There's more nuance to it on payload where you need to be with your team. You need follow up from your team. You need the damage to be spread uh, well and evenly. And I feel like Kirby he could pretty, he could stack up the exile decently enough. Definitely. And uh, one of the kind of recurring themes for, Exile this season has been poorly timed feeds. So, you know, and when you're dealing with more of a death issue than a skill issue, all it takes is the pick classes or, you know, even even a scout and a, the combo of Yi able to catch Exile out being a, maybe a little bit too over aggressive, peeking a sightline when he doesn't need to. And suddenly you can gain that massive advantage because it's something that the higher teams have been doing to shovel. And it's one of the reasons why they are third seed as opposed to something higher. Uh, something else that I, I had been talking about before we went into the rosters is that. Third, uh, the Vigil match last week between Shovel and 3600 was Shovel's win, but I don't think it was particularly well played by either team in the sense that all three halves, the team that pushed first, capped in five minutes. Uh, that means and the, were then yeah. able to hold. So, yeah, defense is not set up, and when, when teams get better at Vigil, the time stretch out longer. Right, so in, in that sense, right, the, you know, the tendency for Shovel to kind of swing a little bit, and the fact that they're more really good at offense, I'd say, than really good at defense, means that if those pick classes, Michael PC1 and Jay-Z or even Kura, you know, and uh, Dotwet are able to get aggressive, find people a little bit out of position, get those picks, they're able to pull a snowball off and could potentially take this, despite this being uh, Shuffle's map. Yeah, one more class comparison I want to bring up here and be watching throughout the match is the soldiers, Soapy versus uh, Nabla. Uh, since we're on double payload to start out here, Banner is the name of the game. Both these soldiers have run Banner in the past, and if they're able to build up Banner, stay alive, keep their uh, charge, and get those ready for post ubers, it'll be a massive deciding factor who's actually able to win the post fights and whether or not you're going to actually snowball a point or deny the snowball and see if you can you know, stretch out another minute, minute and a half on these payload maps. So definitely going to see how those banners work out. All right, well, we've got 30 seconds until we're live. So Zag, going to ask you for your prediction for Vigil first and then for the match overall. Uh, I think this is Military Shovel's map. I think they're pretty confident on it, and I think that they are heating up the playoffs. I'm going to say 2-0 Vigil. Uh, I think Yi Yi might take Swiftwater. I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to go 2-1 overall for Shovel, but I feel like they're going to sweep this map. I'm going to say 2-0 for Shovel, but I think both maps are going to be a 2-1. So there's definitely some variance, but you know we are expecting Shovel to be the stronger team. It's just a matter of who's able to make the big plays in the in the stopwatch rounds going forward. But with that, we have readied up here. Match is getting started. Yee Yee starting out on the defense, red side. Military Shovel on blue attacking first. Interesting that in their vigil match last week against 3600, the team that started on blue was the one that always pushed that five minute time and then proceeded to win. And they're starting blue again here as it's their map and they get to pick sides. Normally, you know, the a lot of players prefer to start on defense when they have the chance because being able to push your own time is always, you know, a lot of people feel that there's a, what's the word I'm looking for, a benefit to being able to know how much time you have left so you don't kind of accidentally get complacent when waiting for a push and you always have that pressure on you. But I just think it's funny that they're kind of channeling whatever energy helped them in last week's match for this one. I've been watching Exile in the spawn gate to see what he's going to do about the sack play. He went from Sticky Jumper to Splendid Screen Caper. So he's currently on the Splendid Screen. I wonder if he's just going to charge through tracks or if he's going to switch last second loadout. It looks like he's looking to go out, go out the gate. I'm going to see what Exile's going to do here on the sack. I he got a crit Caper kill doing that. Yeah, first kill goes off. Might be someone headshotting Soapy, but I'm interested in the Splendid Screen sack that's going to come in. Yeah, I'm really excited. Austin has a Tele exit. They got found. In the dead. cheese gun spot. <laughs> he gets it! He does it again! 
that's such a good play. He just charges the heavy on the rock, and like it, it looks stupid, it looks funny, but that's actually such a big pick because when that heavy goes down, all of a sudden tunnels open, and Soapy Meister is going all the way around through tunnel, bombing right to the top, and he gets the drop. On no the way. Way. The Kaber kill into the full drop from the space that was made is the first play of this match, and that was massive from Military Shovel. One of the things that last week, uh, since we weren't able to cast and Watterson and the uh, the MCM network picked it up, was that mental is a very big thing on this team, and that is the absolute best start they can get us. They're already Ubering into second. Yep, Sapper on the gun does get taken off just in time. Austin gets the Rescue Ranger on it back, but Hill is firmly held right now by Military Shovel. All the players up there are going to herd Yi back into their spawn, and they do pull the full retreat out. Only lose one player. Not that bad considering you did drop your Uber. You have to give up that point. So one death goes over, and that second capped up for Military Shovel. Amazing start so far. Yi going to need to try and stabilize here. Yeah, and again, that's... that's... That's one of the best starts we'll see on Vigil off of potentially the unlikeliest play. Yeah, Spy going in here looking for a pick. It's a sap and a stab. Good pick by Evil there onto Michael PC1. Gun goes down as well with that sapper getting removed a bit late. So already big entries here for Military Shovel. Yeah, he has been running this forward hold in scrims. It's something Shovel knew about. And having that gun down, you know, the gun's really uh, kind of a deterrent for people walking tracks. Ball will go down to spam though, actually. Just kind of sat there and... Hatched an egg on those rockets coming out of none of the Uber comes out of the house area. That's gonna a good deny. Onto Pyrus to deny, but Dotwick gets dropped. No scout on this post is gonna make this position a lot weaker. And it looks like he knows they have to start backing up. Witness the really aggro in lockers, but gonna be hit up a little bit and forced out. Oh, Exile bombed all around the side. He got Soccer and Nabla. Amazing play by Exile there. He just jumped around, and got a 3k. So big plays from the Dome Man on blue side. Gets helps get a kill onto Kirby's tier. Still alive, but there's only three players up right now for the defense. Four as Austin's gun again gets Rescue Ranger backwards, and there's third capped up in short order here we go 224 through three points and military shovel are blazing their way through even though their medic did end up dying they got the trade so it's fine yeah you will take that when you're pushing on offense right now spam fest doubling soccer's points off of the cart alone zuki getting a little bit aggro we'll get caught out and there's the collapse coming in from red room alpha dot wet gonna find three right there a hat trick for him as it looks like he's finally having you know a bit of a of a stabilize coming into last they've got their gun up they've got a slight uber ad nothing uh nothing too pressing hitting them right now so it's gonna be on shovel now to take this without having any uh any momentum evil nearly got spy checked there he still stays up he's about to get spy checked now and he will go down early for this push a bit unfortunate but he will respawn meanwhile red room fight going on soldiers popping off both end up trading so no soldier for either team now as the offense is gonna move onto this cliff area yeah, as they are moving in here, Blank getting really aggro up the flank, only Witness holding that, no flank, but Michael gonna find the pick onto Fallen, Zukimo will get caught out on cart as well. <laughs> he just walked up and stabbed Michael, so Evil gets that sniper pick, they're gonna get Blank in return, that Spy getting a kill, Dot what gets piped down, but a couple trades going either side, 7v7 right now, nothing too big happening, his military shovel about to come up on full uber, spam coming in, looks like they want to try and take this into the window, that's crits! Yeah, crits coming off. The Uber will get popped in time, though, so no frags. Kurt are going to get sent back to spawn, but he's all right with that. Gets him back into a safe position. They will now have this crits add. Pyrus and Mel, the Pyrus is going to trade out on flank, but uh, that's going to allow Blank to walk in for free forces. Dot wet back. Exile getting some damage onto Witness, but doesn't land enough. But Jay Easy on the back, finding Marty, your Supreme Toad, takes him out. So that will be a add for Sakura here. That crits add that they might have had otherwise going to be reduced to see what marty comes up on yeah i can appreciate the attempt there but when the gun is up on the crates and you can't get the sap in with it the crits has no way of actually getting in the gun's just gonna shred you so yeah it was an attempt they have the time to do it still a good time overall looks like they're still on crits though for the offense though committing to this crits play they are building it slowly because again their med did die but they're, they're committing to it yeah some uh, insider knowledge is that they did this against hood and zuki got the uh, lasers around the corner and dropped like with it and they full wiped them in about two and a half seconds so probably wanting to channel that mojo again but it may not you know it might Soldiers not be working against here. E here especially if they know a couple of trades going to be uh going down spam fest already back up though as novel has got, still got a 15 second respawn so be a little bit of flank room to work with but nothing uh really coming out from shovel yet
Yeah, and the crit is about to come up and they pop it in through main and there it is! Big 3k, Austin, Pyrus, Michael all gonna go down. Gun dies as well, Kirby gets crit down as well. Uber is in the left here, comes up, it's just onto the heavy. They were not ready for that play at all, even though it was super telegraphed. They are on the cart now trying to get some damage, doing something, but they're gonna get cleaned up by the collapse in. And there's gonna be the cap from Chinese Military Shovel. Just Pyro here gets cleaned up, just Engineer dead. And that is a 526 time for Military Shovel. As bad as it looked the first time, it's one of uh, it's one of Zakima's pet theories, and I think he's really right on it. Is that if a team's not going to hold the you know the flank side on Vigil last, you know if they're if they're going to go for the more old fashioned hold, have people playing in the little corner, you know, like the little elevated deck there, crits is the way to flush that out. It's just there's so many people concentrated there, and it's so hard to block because there's just no cover for it. Any demo stick is just going to arc over everything, and they're going to get someone. Either you have to like you know, have some insane reflexes on Medic and Flash six people at the same time, or someone goes down. So I like that adaptation out of them. And even though it didn't work the first time, they were confident in it and ends up working on those favors. Again, we see this again a five minute time on Vigil. Yeah, real quick talking about it since we have 30 seconds, the theory behind that crits, it's not just like, oh, we're going to run crits and crits into them with crits advantage, right? The reason why they're doing it on this specific point is because if the enemy team is going to hold the com like some combo members up on that raised platform, like you said, the rest of the players are going to be grouped up behind the crate, behind the Engineer Sentry Gun. So the first sticky on Ghost Engineer Sentry Gun, and the Medic's not there. The Medic can't flash anyone to save anyone. So if your Sniper, Engineer, and one more are stacked up on that gun behind the crate, you know, that crit sticky is immediately giving you a massive entry. So the theory behind that works really well. And if we do, if they do run that in next round for their offense, we're going to have to see what uh, Yi decides to do with their positioning. Because that position gets hard countered by the crits. Right, yeah, and I think that's one of the reasons why we started to see so many teams hold that left side. But, you know, Yi, as we saw in their product match, and we've seen again here, as Exile will get sniped out, though. There's that, uh, maybe that tendency to feed we've talked about. Not going to be too damaging here, but watch for it later on. We've seen Yi not afraid to try unconventional spots it, and strategies. It worked really well in their match against Shovel, or uh, Froggy Land, excuse me. But, you know, that, that forward third hold was not too great for them there, and we see why, you know, the... Uh, the far side holders become meta. Bomb in, coming in here from Tunnel Nabla, trying to get onto the meta, gets reflected instantly. Sap is just a bit late, Jay-Z not going to find what he wants there. Now Demo Man's in, they do get blank with a snipe, but Kirby's not going to find what he wants either. Gun doesn't even go down, and that sack was not too eventful, but they have a cart pushing in just a second. Yeah, so first going through quickly, as always, uh, no unexpected tragedies on the side of Shovel, so we will be seeing a, a second fight a little bit more lengthy than uh than shovels push at the very least but yeah you not too much time on the clock they're pushing up through tunnel it looks like might be sakura hasn't committed yet so not guaranteed yeah it looks like they're gonna rotate back hill now Soapy's getting a lot of damage here. He should have banner. Austin gonna peek into tunnel with him, help clean up, or Zakim will help clean up Austin rather. And Exile goes down action. They're gonna pop Uber off that snipe over the hill. Pyro right now trying to solo deny, running into the other team. Melon doing a pretty good job. Now gonna surf all the way back. Flank passes in to get some damage, and that was a pretty good repellent so far. But they have to deal with not having Exile now. Banner is out though. I hear it going off. Yeah, uh, Dr gonna come out of Jay Easy though. He will get behind as the Kura did go down in that post as well. So Exile is going to be up by the time that he will have their demo back. And, you know, with this second hold, Shovel's already put themselves in a really good spot. You know, he fails one or two more pushes. They might just be out of time. It looks like Kurt, they're going to be trying side tunnel. Yeah, no, Exile is back up, though. He's going to be able to spam this out. We have Fallen Post on the angle as well. Zuki peeking the shutter. Bomb in over the top. Gonna get reflected again. Nabla, no luck. Gonna fall down to the ground. He actually gets a rebomb off, but you know he's just gonna have to get out, save his life. Witness right now in tunnel, trying to fight onto Soapy. Bit of a damage trade, but both meds on 90% Uber, and it looks like gonna have another just uh, even exchange coming through. Yeah, and just really unable to find any picks. They had that one pick onto Exile, but Melon did a great job of denying that Uber, not allowing them to get through that choke and get any pressure. Fallen got Kerr on the back end, and he's been able unable to find really anything to go off of here. And you don't have any advantage pushing Vigil second is a nightmare. We're bleeding time right now for Yi Yi. They've had this Uber for quite a while. They haven't decided where they want to take it. Looks like now they want to go up the hill. Solo onto Kirby's. Moving it forward. Melon going to get the solo in return. Once again, Blasting Stone back into the choke. Get off of my hill. Melon says. And they're going to chase down with the end of the Uber. There's Blank getting the clean up onto Kirby's. Jay-Z going down. Flank is dangerous though on the back line. Nabla and Pyrus getting a couple kills. Kart gets pushed as well. But another banner is up from Sophie. He's going to pop that one off. Jump back Austin? onto the roof. Austin just runs behind through side to assassinate Spamfest. 
So Nabla coming in afterwards, uh, not gonna find anything, but with no engineer on the side of Shovel there, if he can go quickly here, they may be able to find a dry push. Yeah, that said, they're two minutes on the clock. It's already looking very unlikely. If they're not able to cap this in like 30 seconds, then it's not going to happen. So one more desperation push coming out of Yee Yee. They start with an SVS win onto Fallen Gourd, so they can walk forward with that. Tunnel push, side tunnel push coming out. They're taking a lot of damage, but they do get the kill onto Melon. Not the rest of them, not so lucky. Pyrus Witness, Kirby's all going to go down. Sakura and Nabla as well dying. That said, Scout on the back line, Dot Wet is going to get a couple kills and cap this up. So that's some silver lining. It's still technically possible. A minute 30 left for two points, but they need to keep on this card they need to not lose a push. I can't see the ragdoll, so I'm not sure. Nabla did pick up Marty or Supreme Toad during that, and I saw I saw some man treads coming out of there, you know. Nabla's uh, special tech going in for another bomb. Gonna be able to find oh, he missed anything. the rocket. This is the rocket. Such onto, a rocket. Yeah, Marty. So no medical there. One more and he would have gone down, but what was the full wipe coming in for Yi right there? I mean, the minute and 15, you know, they it, 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 it might be in the range of possibility. But Sakura needs to get on Kari here. They need that times three if it's if it's gonna do something. She can't just hover around it, but very quickly looking like Shovel's gonna take this first half. Yep, one minute left. Scout on this cart. The scout goes down. Oh, Dawet gonna die there. That's really bad. Cart can't get pushed at full speed anymore. They're gonna look to peek around the corner. They have a 5% add, but it won't be enough to do anything with. Didn't build fast enough for that one. They are gonna pressure this heavy off the cliff. At least there's that. 45 seconds left. As now heavy's on the cart trying to do some damage to witness. Getting taken very low. Needs heals. Needs something and will not get anything. Gets taken down. The cart gonna roll back down. Zukima will go down on the flank, but the Uber is coming out right now. Melon doing a good job scattering everyone. Kuro gets blown in and separated. Blank picks up Dot Wet for his 10th and then 11th onto Austin. And it looks like WJQ308 Chinese military shuffle. Gonna be taking a dominant first round here. That's a third banner from Soapy. Like I mentioned in the pregame, he's doing an amazing job building those up. Even when they have something bad happening, they have these banners to fall back on. 10 seconds, about to time out. Even if they get third, not gonna make that much of a difference. But yeah, really impressive performance overall from Military Shovel. They played this pretty much flawlessly. They didn't really make any mistakes. Yeah, although I'm, I'm a little bit curious now to see how they do in this second half if they don't have such massive advantages, you know? Because all the credit in the world to Exile for getting in a world. the crit caver. Where your heavy gets cavered. To enable a med drop on first that then gets you three points in two in under two and a half minutes. But I I would be very disappointed if he allows that to happen again. Even with the crits, right? You know, they, I mean, they knew it was coming and it still hit them, right? But I'm exp I'm hoping that either Jay Easy will be more kind of just prompt on calling what medigun they're on because that's going to be a relevant thing, and that if they see the crits, they rotate over. But I think that this is kind of the maybe the research advantage you could say that by coming up with these threats, Shovel's been able to get, and they likely have to play this next half a little bit more normal. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking too, is that like, even if you know this crit is coming, right? Like, if you don't know how to position, if you've never practiced in strat like it, what really can you do? Like, where they're probably going to tell each other in comms, like, okay, uh, spy call for the crits. After that, it, when it's coming in, everyone's spread out. Well, what, then what? Like, what are you doing after you spread out? Like, are you collapsing on something? You're trying to kill the crits demo man? Are you trying to just get back and spawn and repush after? Like, if they don't know what they're actually going to do with that crits play, it's going to keep terrorizing them. Right, we do have 30 seconds as we go in, though, so I want to take... A, um, we do have... We may have logs up on stream. I'm not sure if yeah, we've we got we those do. up. One thing that I think is an interesting research point is that apparently a crit caber will do 336 damage. There you go. Today I learned. If the heavy is not buffed, he will die. Oh, yeah, but the logs are up on the screen. Top fragging is Exile, Zukima, and Blank. We saw Blank going on 11k at the end there. I'm pretty sure he has 13 frags, right? So 11 of his 13 frags came on that defense. He only had two offense kills, which, I mean, you're a scout. You're pushing the cart. Team never really had a problem. So, you know, everyone doing their job on uh, Military Shovel. None of them have made any big mistakes. Definitely, yeah. And it feels kind of unfortunate that Melon's KD is... 1 in 6 with sub 100 DPM, and she's done everything they've needed her to. All of her denies on second were great. She was where she needed to be on third. She got Kura caught out in an Uber. So, you know, something not showing up in the stats there, but definitely yeah. showing up in the gameplay. So, yeah. By Looking the book, good. Pyro Play, taking those Ubers.
air blasting as far back as you can and then getting out not taking any damage on the post looking very good from melon there and unless something drastic changes i really can't see military shovel dropping this round they're starting out on defense here so ye will have a chance to set the pace at least but i'm not sure if i have much faith in them we'll give them the benefit of the doubt let's see what they can do here yeah one thing to look forward to that didn't really have much of an impact because of how well everyone else on shovel is playing fallen only sitting on five and six Michael more than doubling his frags at 12 and 6, also up to only SVS. So, with uh, with Yi Yi now on offense, which is apparently the you know the team to be on on Vigil here, if he's able to get a couple picks onto Fallen, then they could find themselves some momentum and remains to be seen. But Exile gonna get first blood with the crit traps. He's gotten first blood in both games with crits. Think about it. Can we get a can we get a camera angle on the panoramic sticky trap Exiles got on the little cliff on first? There's no way this kills anyone. They're gonna see it on cart. Look at Witness put up Witness, the Yeti oh, taunt. We saw That's we the saw him. Yeah, we saw him do this on steel. He puts up the Yeti taunt with the fists out to help cover his sniper feet. But it looks like That's Shovel broken. is just backing out already. They don't even want to mess around with it. But Sophie on the back line gonna find Michael. But, uh, That's pretty big, Sophie be dying, it. though, because he had Banner immediately ready for the repush on second defense last round. He's not going to have that this time because of this death. Definitely, yeah, and it'll you know remain to be seen whether or not he can build it in time. I would have faith in him to be able to do that, but he's not even up yet, and you know he's already starting to get into tunnel right there. Cart's almost halfway through it, although Exile going to find some shoot some pipes in and find Dalvin. Oh, hi, Bobby. Big bomb out of Kura all oh the way God. back. <laughs> He got air shot at the sentry rockets. Yeah, sack doesn't go well. They get zero. Spam fast exile got taken low, so this is bad, but they don't get the kills they want. It's fine. Nothing big gonna happen off that. Spawn is coming in. We're gonna get ready for our first exchange of the round. Yeah, as uh, one of the things about stunning on offense here is you need to be aware of the clock. You need to be aware of how much time is ticking by and that you just got capped on in five, so you want to try to pull something That's similar. That's a bad again. death from Jay Easy. He's not gonna be able to sap the gun now. Yeah, the Uber will come out, though, from Yee Yee. Popped onto Melon in exchange. A lot more oh, presence on Hill this time. But yeah, Kura going to go down. Spells bad things for the post fight. Nabla down as well. There is Evil coming in from the back. Going to pick up Sakura and Michael. Witness Pyrus also going down. And it is a clean defense for military shovels. So Akima, the only casualty, and you'll take that. Yeah, that, everyone else. that push was just a disaster from the moment it started. Exile goes down, not a big deal. But Spy dies, can't get the sap on the gun. You drop your demo man mid Uber. Nothing good is going to happen off that. They get collapsed on instantly, and it was pretty much just sloppy from Yi. It's not like that was anything spectacular from Military Shovel. It's just Yi made a couple of big mistakes in a row, and it doomed their push from the start. Sophie did just pop that battalion as Exile went down. Going to pop it here as they're trying to take advantage, but Encura goes down immediately. Fallen gets so many gets uh, finished off by something. Zukima forward cannot be killed with that battalion's buff. I'm gonna shred through Pyrus. Jay-Z finding a counter espionage for, uh, that's one way to get a pick pushing into here, I suppose. But just, again, no, you know, real pushable kind of advantages that only when they got onto Exile was counted out by the banner, so. That's the same thing that happened in the first round exactly, by the way. When Exile got sniped over the hill in post, Soapy had that banner. And I want to bring attention again to Soapy, because we mentioned he died on first, so it's going to be harder for him to get the banner up. He still got it up after spawning and having uber players to shoot at and a couple players in the flank. So Soapy's amazing at actually building that banner up, and he's probably the best in the league at doing it. So now we're going to see Bomb into Nablo trying to find some effectiveness from his soldier, trying to get anything from behind, not going to find anything, goes all the way in. As Uber comes in, off the distraction, gun gonna go down at least so they have that to work with but melon now gets the uber exile gonna take the post try to run it into tunnel get some clean up kills doing a lot of damage and there it is dot wet soccer austin witness all dropping blank on an 8k he wants an even longer kill streak sophie on a 7k so many streaks now for this defense they're looking indomitable right now yeah soccer i got tried to leave through tunnel and got blown back into the little uh forward spawn kind of cave or cavern there and just no chance of her getting out there so the uber advantage actually no Marty did go down in that to something on the back end of that fight. I'm not sure what. Might have, my immediate guess might have been Nabla coming back in from behind. I'm not sure, but it will be an ad for soccer. It was a demo, as uh, I'm hearing dolphin chirps in my ear. But it will be an ad for Yi Yi here, and it's you know going to be probably their biggest chance to get second yet. Yeah, and it's not looking good. They're... At this point, what, it's already like four and a half minutes, five minutes coming up soon if they fail to play in the middle of the next push. So they're going to have to do their best to make up for that time later on, assuming they even get this. There's four minutes left on the clock here, so if there's a lot of time, they'll probably get the cap up eventually. But they need to find a way to make things work. They have not found a successful push yet. 
And they have Uber here, but they're just waiting, and Marty's gonna there be able go. to get in time now. Yep, no, they are using out a side tunnel, actually. Marty kiting back will he's not come. anyone right oh, now. Oh, yeah, he's not. He's not really being able to heal anyone. Players are going go. down on both sides, but more are down on the side of Shovel, yeah. That is Supreme Toad right now. I'm not sure where he is. He's back up into spawn, but he was not able to get that Uber off, so... Yeah, he had about 80 per 88 percent when that Uber came on a side tunnel, and it was a build difference there where the offensive medic uh, did get that medic fast enough. So credit to Soccer there where it's due, and they are able to snowball forward here because of all the kills they got in post. So Sticky's on the shutter, Pyro watching it as well, and that's going to be an immediate third take, assuming they don't get repushed from main here. That said, Uber going to come out, Supreme Toad taking it onto Exile, trying to jump forward, get some damage down. Michael, Pyro, Jay Z, Witness all going down. There we go, Scout Dillman out onto third, and that repush is crucial. Soccer dead in the back line. Yeah, that was just unfortunate for the side of Yee. They had what they thought they wanted, but they were not ready for the repush. They had their people posted on Shutter, but they weren't watching Man at all. Devilman just jumped through the team and got all that damage, and with that, all their momentum is grinded to a halt. Yeah, really, really good calling from Shovel to immediately know, all right, give up third, go out through last, push tracks, we'll re-Uber, we can retake this. Just, you know, don't make, make sure no one gets, you know caught out with like a sloppy spawn, you know, third spawn peak into a sticky trap. You no, know, everyone goes out, repushes back to tracks, and they end up back on third, and the card's not even, you know, at hill yet. Yeah, looking like a premier Highlander team with that decision, all these quick calls that are paying out in dividends, and right now, you see Scout Heavy fighting on the flank, doing some damage back. That's normal, what you're normally going to see, try and deny that flank players. players. Jay-Z, though, wants to decloak onto Zukima here. He's going for the Scout, actually, he wants to find the stab, can't get it, and he cloaks away, so they're not going to get that for now. Zukima going to drop down, though, get the pack, get healed up. Yeah, the card now up there. Ooh, Uber's going to come out, and it looks like her is going to be hit low. Sakura is being chased out on hill. Oh, Exile gets her low, but not enough. Jumps oh, forward! Oh, he's going! Goes in for this crest, <laughs> you get the spawn camp. Will I can appreciate it, it. Marty picked himself up an Uber saw. On Michael in, PC? How? Yeah, on the sniper. Where? But he must have been going for, like, some kind of glory shot. You know, he must have stayed behind while they all pushed forward and he just caught him yeah, out. Yeah, here's the counter Uber. Uber. This is what you get for your meta getting out and spawn. They're gonna Uber onto the cart. Spy can't get anything evil. All the players are shiny. I feel that one. And the cart is moving up this hill slowly but surely. Exile is here as is a banner, but they're not gonna get there in time. Third gets kept up. They are gonna get as many players back as they can. Zuki as the heavy. Too slow. Not gonna be able to make it. Will go down. Exile staying a bit, but he will be able to get out. And that is four, or third capped up for Yi. 640 in time. That's not the best, but... They can, if they one shot last, they can at least make a decent time. But they, it's look, it's looking not very good. Right. Yeah. If they can, if they can come in quickly here, Sakura should get this Uber. You know, within thirty seconds or so at max, and they're able to kind of oh. coast it in. Anything under eight minutes is easy, is a winnable time. But with Kura going down there, as is Nabla and Marty having this advantage, oh, I really reflect. doubt they're going to be able to get this cleanly unless you know some kind of Sakura really good pick comes in. But Sophie and Blank causing havoc on the flank, taking out. Uh, Michael and Witness over there deep on the cliff, so... Yeah, they popped that banner and it just went as a two-man cell and absolutely wiped the floor with Yi in that red room and cliff area, but you know, it won't be too much worth because Soccer stays alive. Gonna get this Uber up in a second, and here's gonna be the first Uber exchange of last. This is the first attack we're gonna see from Yi on this point. This is gonna show us really well if they can do this or not. Yeah, Uber comes in solo onto Kura right here, flashes out on the side of Shovel. Austin gets the card up pretty far there, only frag gonna be Nabla, and now Austin on flank right here. And while they don't lose too many, they really don't gain any ground. They got Spamfest's gun, but that's about it. She's already got that back up to level 1, so really not too much done with that Uber. Yeah, they get the cart towards the first bend, so that's fine. They, they need more than that. They need to get this in one or two pushes total, and with that not going off very well, they're going to be at a small Uber diss side, so nothing to push off of. I believe they're still on Uber charge. It's not a crits thing going forward. Yeah, stock Uber, and like, another moving people onto hill. Going to see if Michael PC1 can find the openings for them. That's kind of what they're relying on here. Yeah, Nabla is deep into flank right there, but ooh, good denial out of blank right there. Takes him out, unable to, you know, get good damage into the combo. Interesting that Shovel is holding that, you know, platform side hole. <laughs> the the standard, so, the, the pub yeah, that spot. They can, that they can beat with crits very easily, but Sakura, I believe, is still on Uber, as they are moving into flank right here, looking to use soon on Takura. Yeah, they are having people in this left area. Devilman and Scout are up. Uber gonna come out here. Gun gets immediately rescued back to spawn. Gonna be rebuilt by Spamfest as Cart not getting pushed quite yet. Counter is out. They overlap the Uber with the banner. Might be a bit much, but they're gonna walk forward with it. Trying to get wherever they can. Kirby's goes down. Dalwin as well. They're getting shredded on the side. There's Austin as well. Zukima gets stabbed, but that's the only person who's really died in this exchange so far. And another great defense from Shovel. 
Yeah, I, I thought that he might have had a chance in that post because they had Capresence in on flank, but they started backing out, which was a bit of a questionable move because it allowed all of Shovel, who's already playing a little bit, you know, more forward than the the more passive flank side hold would have them. It just cut them off on Cliff, Kara goes down and nothing in the post. Evil, though picking up Michael, just gonna continue to uh, find kills. Kara goes down, kites too far forward, waiting for an arrow and runs into the gun. So, I mentioned Exile might have had a bit of a feed problem in the uh, the lead-in, but Kara the one really dying at unfortunate times. Yeah, that one's not that bad because they weren't on Uber yet. Kurt is alive and they have their spawners up. So another chance coming up here for Yi. At this point, the time is stretching into unreasonable territory where it's really not looking plausible. They win the round. They're going to Uber here out of Red Room, trying to go forward. But Melon stuffing this does get dropped, though. Unfortunate timing on that counter Uber. They are going to have Demo uh, Heavy here, but they have space to work with right now, Yi. Oh, Zuki's just going to absolutely drill Mabla out of the air. Kurt dead again. And Witness is going to go down to Zuki, the heavy, the heavy going in his favor. There is Jay-Easy coming in on the back line. Will be caught out by Zukima, though, getting all of these kills up on the platform as he's going to walk forward here into main. He's feeling it. Dotway. Yeah, he's really feeling it. But uh, peeking deep into third, even. Likely not going to find any kills at that distance, but just, you know, pushing him back, milking even more seconds off of that clock, making the frustration mount even higher. Yeah, things look slightly winnable for Yi there when with Melon dropping early in that Uber, only getting a couple air blasts off, but Zuki in that post positioned perfectly to get all the cleanup kills, had four kills just there for cleanup, and helps stabilize that defense once again. Soccer this time has a pretty big Uber ad though, so it's about 20%, and they're on hill already, they're going to be looking to make something out of it. Kirby's though in the side, they're going to lose Nabla, Kirby's needs to stay alive here, they're taking a lot of damage, as now they have Uber, they're going to go. Yeah, Michael is dead on the side though, so Yi, uh, Shovel can play wide in this if they have to. Tsukima on the platform, causing a lot of uh, pressure right here, as they are going to counter use out. They're going to go for the wrap play. Sakura trying to get out through the lower cliff and will make it. Witness goes down, as does Pyrus. Kura now caught out alone, but Marty gets snaked out by Michael on the respawn. A little bit too aggro there, chasing into Big Door. So for the first time in five minutes, I want to say, he will have Uberad pushing into last. Yeah, and the, the rap play is a decent idea, but they just weren't aware of where all the players were. They couldn't get the Dome and kill, and then their med walked into a sight line coming back. So it, it was a good attempt, but it was uh, badly uh, played out. So either way, they're going to lose their medic there. Soccer at now 75% to Marty's 15. Jay's going to go down. His Fallen is on a 7k. Fallen's racked up kills on this defense here. Sniper doing a lot of work, so they're going to have to get him killed in just a second. Michael is going to peek him. Let's we'll see if the SVS goes in their favor, because they have Uber. Yeah, and they just need to make sure they, you know, use it fast enough here. They almost didn't get second because they waited a little bit too long. They are going to use out of Red Room. Melon doing her best to deny, living a fairly long time before going down. That's most of the Uber done. Jay-Z and Austin are dead, but more frags on the side of Yee right here. Level 3 being wrangled right here, not actually doing any damage, and the cart might just glide in. Great yeah, they... air blast out of Pyrus there. Yeah, good air blast. They couldn't get onto the cart uh, in time. They had, like, heavy left over. He's slow. They had engineer wrangling from spawn. They had fallen lord in spawn, and... They couldn't get there in time, but either way, 12-26, that's pretty much a win for Shovel. You know, probably feeling like they can close this one out in two. Yeah, I would I would be inclined to agree with that, and I'd be concerned if they weren't able to, as uh, he's probably hoping for more of a hard second hold, if anything, uh, in order to maybe, you know, tie this one out. I'm interested as to... I'm, I, I don't want to speak as if this half is a foregone conclusion, but more than likely it is so i'm very interested as to how um he shows up on swiftwater because their last pushes for visual strike me as a team that and i don't mean this you know in a necessarily offensive way but a team that really hasn't planned out their last pushes too far you could also take it as to say they're bad at vigil you know like yeah they very clearly don't understand what to do on these last pushes that actually makes them succeed. They have players going forward in areas where they can't get support. They have people getting cleaned up in post by heavy they're not checking for. Uh, but, you know, this is Shovel's map pick, so if that were the case, it wouldn't be too bad of a thing necessarily. That's why you mentioned Swiftwater. You know, if they're actually able to know these things on Swiftwater and play their pushes better, we might see them be more competitive. But, you know, as for now, they're going to do their best here to hold this 12 minutes. It's not very likely. Yeah, the Soapy's gonna get in really fast there, and uh, Exile, yeah, not on the, not on the caver this time. Will not find a uh, the it's early a, heavy pick. It's Witness a one-time, one-time strike per game. Yeah. 
you know, it basically got them a free half, so you'll go for it. But yeah, it's just one of those times where it feels like, okay, let's use Ubers and then hope that everything goes well, rather How than, How does Evil like, get out of that? I don't know, man. Evil, Evil can get away with some things sometimes that I really question having played Spy for a season, but... You know, first we'll go down really without too much incident. Michael will be back up before any actual pushes happen, so him going down when he did not... They're going to trade Master of a Hill. Yeah. That is unusual. And they're going to get Pyrus immediately with that snipe. That's good. No part of an eye. They're going to run Demo Man here into the enemy team. Kirby's trying to do some damage here, but he's all alone. Going to have to back off this as now they're taking space. Does a lot of damage, though. Exile and Zukima are low, but they don't die. And then Kirby's gets sniped. Fallen Lord, two key picks. Going to let them walk forward. They flood onto the gun. It gets sapped by Evil. Perfect timing. They're going to take down Austin. And Jay Easy fallen dies, but that's not a big deal here. And they have this second point on lock already. Yeah, I mean, those picks from Fallen are really big because killing Pyrus that early into the Uber means they're not going to get denied like what Melon was doing to Yi Yi. And then finding Kara in the end of it means the walk ups, you know, not free because Michael's still alive, but they're all yeah, not going to eat tons of damage yeah. in the choke. Yeah. Uh, Zuki uh, peeking in a bit too aggressively, gets blown up instantly, but it's okay. We'll get his respawn time while the cart is moving forward. And, you know, Fallen popping off there to get them that point, pretty much free of charge. It likely would have gone well anyway, but just making that opening is big. And now defense can try and stabilize. They're down about 20% Uber, but it won't make a big difference because they need to wait for heavy and the cart. Yeah, this time they are not trying that forward hold that we saw them pull last time as the Uber comes out. 95 right here. for Sakura. Yeah, she should be able to get this, and will use right back you know, with no issues. Kara getting pretty aggro into main. Good surf by Marty, though, to fly back into second. Make oh, sure Pyrus. he's out safe, and yeah, Pyrus, a bit of an overextend there. Gotta run into Zuki, and no Pyro might be an issue if they get this card up, but he'll likely have respawned by that time. Witness is standing pretty tall here on this flank area with Heavy, denying a lot of space and Zuki has to back off it. So there is that sort of line they're able to kind of get their spawners up in just a second. Pyrus on one. This Heavy's going to spam now, though. Going to get defended. Oh, but no, Zuki in the flank angle. Going to take him down from the tunnel. Noble as well going down. And Zuki going to jump up here. He's going to get the sniper, maybe? It gets air blasted. We'll get denied there. But, you know, either way, that's a lot of pressure he's made. And they're going to walk forward with it. Kara going to get sniped. Going down again. Fallen sniping out from the... Uh... Pushing up by Brackett's gonna find him there. And the cart will go in, so... You know, Yee's effectively been playing efficient with their time as they've gotten the stopwatch clock to equal the map clock. Meaning that Shovel would have had more time on the game clock had, uh, had the stopwatch not been where it is. So, they're going for the Miracle Last Hall. That is how you do it. But, lots of kills coming in. The sack only gonna find Witness there. That is Evil taking him out. So no kills to be found otherwise. Even Uber's coming up for both medics right here. Really aggro play from Yee up on tracks though. Yeah, they're confident not getting sniped because they have a bunch of spam here, but they will be able to just reset here. Both teams gonna get nine players up, get fully healed and buffed. Uh, but Supreme Toad actually died there to Nabla. Where was that? He died at 99%. Didn't I'm catch not that one. sure. Yeah, Dolphin says he's on third when it happened, and it was too far back, so Nobla getting that pick is actually massive. So now Shovel, they need to make some kind of, a, kind of a sack or force play, try to get this Uber out. They're all pushing Kark here, they're gonna drop Zuki and Spam Fest. Here's Soul jumping out, gets denied immediately. Evil found, Exile found, and all of a sudden, that sack doesn't go well, and now, yee, they have some footing here. Yeah, I mean, if, if you're gonna go for a 10 minute last hold, that is the way to start it out, with a medic, you know, with the attacking medic dying at 99%. And then not losing anyone to a sack. Marty has been building well, though. Already back up to 85. So, Zukima will get picked off there. Should spawn up now. And will likely be back in by the time the Uber starts. This fight accidentally got air blasted off the cliff. That is tragic for Jay Easy. Well, and I think he just heard the Spicicle and right click. And there he goes. So, we'll not be able to call that they are going flank. You know, probably C can guess they're right now. They're on crits, by the way. No, yeah, crits. they're on crits. The crits lasering. That's the here play, and it does not work this time like it did in scrims. Marty, 1 HP. He'll take the death. He's just ADing. He wants to go back on the Uber after that. So, <laughs> they tried it. You mentioned it. The Zuki lasers around the corner, but that time does not go off. But, oh, Fallen on the flank. Gonna take down Sakura. So now, all of a sudden, they can go back to Uber and have a full ad. Yeah, does... Where... I want to know where Exile was during that crits, because Marty was just kind of ADing. You know, you said he accepted his death. I think he was waiting for anyone to come back in on it. But with that medic kill, all of the frags are going now into Shovel's favor. Zuki's Blank. leading the charge up through tracks. Witness and Michael both going to go down here, and they're just going to coast this card in. Yeah, that's about what we can expect. They don't need the crits to work. They don't even need Uber. They're just better on this map to say the absolute minimum. That was a completely one-sided affair on Vigil. Shovel's map pick of, you know, Vigil, this stopwatch that they've been proficient on last week and previously in the season, dominated on it. Was not even close. 2-0 start, 1-0 up in the series. They pushed five minutes again. It keeps happening.
It was almost five minutes exactly, I think. But yeah, I mean, you know, we, we mentioned in the lead, right, that if Shovel could play up to their potential and not have these really untimely deaths, have, you know, really unsynced combo pushes, that they were the better team on paper. And I feel like they are, this is one of the, the better versions of Shovel we've seen this season. Yeah, they look really strong. No one, no one's really doing any bad plays. They're not making mistakes. They're all on timing with what they need to do. Soapy's banners are great. Melon is denying flawlessly. Evil's always there to get a pick or sap the gun. Fallen started popping off in that second half, 15 and 4, so shout out to Fallen Lord. One of the unsung heroes, by the way, that we haven't really talked much about, Blank. He went 28 and 6. I was with about to 400 say, 400 DPM on Scout. I'm not letting him go on for much longer. That was ridiculous. That was a ridiculous performance. Yeah, that, that's MVP performance on that map. He had so many kills. We saw him on multiple 10Ks, actually, but you know, racking up the kills, doing tons of work. So you know, shout to Blank for having that performance. But yeah, right now, Shovel is just operating on all cylinders. Right, but now, you know, we turn the page, and that's one of the nice things about playoffs is that, yes, Yee Yee did not look that great on Vigil, but Shovel did not look that great on Lakeside. I'd, say, I'd argue they might have even looked worse on Lakeside against 3600 last week than came out to go win their map pick. So, you know, completely different map, and if he's able to mental reset, you know, depending on how good their preparation is, they can just as easily come back on this. You know, a different map is a completely new game for them. So... Again, they looked under-practiced on Vigil, is how I'd say it. You know, it, it didn't feel like everyone knew where they were going, and it felt like they were more kind of using and hoping things went well, more so than having a really thought-out game plan. But, you know, from, from what I've heard in the in the Shovel Con, you know, they're not super confident about Swiftwater. You know, it's not a map that... The fact that they didn't ban it, right, is testament that they're not horrendous on it, but it is not a map that you know, they, they would include in their strengths, really. So, he has all the opportunity here. If they can show up and, you know, come in with a... looks like he's going to be starting on offense. So, they can come in, get that good second push, you know, get some momentum on their side, things could flip very quickly. Yeah, and we'll talk more on that after this quick ad break. So, thank you guys for coming out. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back for the second map of this playoffs match. Welcome back, gamers and gameettes, to this RGL.GG Invite Highlander playoff match. We just saw WJQ308 Chinese Military Shovel take the first half of this lower bracket match against Yi 2-0 in quite dominant fashion. But we are moving into PL Swiftwater. This map is Yi Yi's pick, so you know we are completely, completely possible we see Yi Yi's fortunes reverse on this map. So. Zag, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna get some analysis from you on this. So, and I say analysis, but I'll, I'll be brief with it. What is Yee's path to winning here? I think their path to winning has to involve knowing like what is going on with the Swiftwater hold of Shovel. 
Uh, looks like they're going to be starting on defense here for Yi, right? So they'll be able to kind of see what Shovel wants to do and uh, deal with it. I think if they've studied what Shovel actually does with their pushes, what people they put in what angles, then they'll be able to kind of... They need to be able to respond to it with, like, good second holds. The key to this match for them is just making as much time as you can out of the good points. So, like, it doesn't matter if they give up third to me. Like, they can give up third if they want to. Their last can be a bit sloppy. But if they're not able to extend second holds at all, I feel like they're just going to be really, really out of the match. I feel like... If they can get time on second, they can make up for mistakes that they'll inevitably make elsewhere. And second is the best place for them to be able to do it. And of any point in the in the map that teams should study to improve their performance on it, it needs to be second. So we'll have to see what they decide to do. Maybe they'll tunnel hold. Maybe they'll just play outside on ground. But we just need to see a strong performance from the first round here on the point. You say that, and we're going to see a quick second followed by an eight-minute third hold. I just want you to know that you've doomed us to this fade. I don't even remember the last time I saw an eight-minute third hold. Probably like, something KD did to some poor low invite team a couple seasons ago, but you know we'll, we'll take that one back in the archives. Either way, starting up here as both teams have readied up. Yeah, and you mentioned uh, before the break that this is a map that uh, military shovel don't find themselves to be that comfortable on, and it makes sense because they they haven't really played it that much in scrims from what I can tell, and they just don't like the map in general. Their ban you mentioned not banning it. Their ban was steel. And if you're playing against, we always say this, if you're playing against a team that you know you're better than on paper and that you know you can take the win against, you get rid of Steel because of how much of a wild card map it is. So I can understand that. Swiftwater is the map that it came after, you know, we're not comfortable on it, but it's not Steel. And then yee, they're going to take that. You know, it's their advantage here. They're like, okay, well, it's open. Take it. Go for it. But whether or not they actually put in the prep is something we'll have to see. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, or what was I going to say? Um... I just completely brain farted, actually. That's okay, the gates are asking. Pretend like you did nothing. Right, well, <laughs> gates open and Fallen's gonna find the first oh, one on Kinawa. Sophie going for a big jump behind will make it up to the health pack. Gun's really oh. far forward, Austin yeah. has it. And it will actually take out yeah. Exile before, uh, before getting pulled back into the tunnel right there. He will build it back up, not gonna pull out immediately to second. Melon went down to a trap and, uh... Some That's kills being job. found, Clear but... out the traps so your medic doesn't die to them. Exactly. No actual presence stopping card, though. Something we saw in that 3600 froggy match was tons of shenanigans on first, milking a couple extra seconds off of that card, having a heavy or a flank or spy, all trying to, you know, boon the card as it, as it walks past uh, Shifty's quick shot, the, the sniper shot. That's what the sign says on it, I just learned. as They just abandoned card after capping. Yeah, they're immediately pushing to upper, but it looks like Yi are ready for this. They have all their players posted in the upper, including Sniper. Exile gonna die to the trap, and that's not gonna go off well. Michael goes down, though. Sophie's jumping in, trying to get the force. Does not get it, though. He will get Kura, but he will die, though. Spamfest gonna die in the tunnel, and overall... Wait, they dropped Medic! Spam... Where, where'd their med die? No, never mind. That's my bad. They dropped a lot of players, though, on the back end. Like, people sacking the other side. They got fallen on the back end. I don't know what that, like, set play was. Yeah, was I have no idea what play, that was. But the card still isn't in tunnel. Yeah. If you see the enemy sniper is in upper, you just go tunnel. Like, if he's, if he's staring at the gates in upper, you just go tunnel with it and take the ground because they're going to deny it. But the Uber comes out of tunnel right there. Gun's going to go down early. Kura drops down. Witness already closed. Good flash. is going to be going out. Exile retreats into side tunnel. Interesting split play. He's behind them. Sakura getting hit low. Will she go down? No, that roller, that pipe will not connect. Witness, I'll though, is blank, though. dead. And yeah, Blank cleans up Exile's damage. The combo's out of tunnel, but Michael finds Marty from the spawn angle right there. Blank getting into spawn, getting in close. Oh, not gonna be able to find him. That pesky spawn shutter. This is the strangest second, like, series of events I've ever seen on this map. I have no idea what either team has been thinking for the past minute and a half, but it looked like it panned out well for Military Shove. We saw Evil actually get a lot of damage and got the Sentry Gun kill on the back end, still. so with the better spawns and the Sentry Gun kill, they're going to be able to walk forward, but 2k from Jay-Z on the cart gets Fallen and Zuki. Spamfest going to die to a headshot from Michael, and all of a sudden this looks contestable for Yi Yi. FaZe, Kur or Kirby's, and Soapmeister are having a fight, though. Soapy going to win that one, so takes down the Dome Man and has control of the Shack, gets taken down, though, by Dot Wet, and all of a sudden the Reek push was good for Yi Yi, and they're going to stay alive here on this point. This really might be the most Twilight Zone second push I've ever seen. I don't know what I'm watching. He just 1v1 Daph and is taunting in the house. He called him bad in the chat. That's some BM. Coming out without Enforcer. That's the 20% reduced speed. But I, Witness has been playing really close here to Tunnel. And I feel like he's gotten away with it because he hasn't been called. But if 
Shovel realizes this and starts to maybe focus him. He's eaten up the uh, sandwich heading on the heading on the wall there, but I feel like that oh, could be a pick. And there is Spamfest wrangling out of side tunnel to go chip him. Not going to find too much. There's more than enough cover oh, with Cart there for me, Evil. <laughs> okay, Soul Uber out. This should kill Witness. He has no way of living here. They're going to Uber down onto Cart. Exile takes a flash. The Uber is better for the defense here. Is Blank going to run in? Blank actually is in behind. He might try to find some effectiveness here, but Uber gets the offense out of tunnel. Jay-Z in the back going to go down. Gets Melon for his trouble. And Austin's gun does go down to a soldier. Bomb up from Soapy. Going to get Michael as well. Big play from Soapy. He's taken very low, but gets the pack and stays alive. Meanwhile, the tunnel squad is re-emerging going forward. Going to get a kill onto... Or going to get the gun down, rather. Evil Soapy be gonna drop but there's too many people on this cart they have players alive but they don't have position and ye gonna have to back off the second here yeah, they will get the cap here but 344 is you know pretty pretty standard i would yeah, say it, it's fine for both teams. not a you'd always like to hold it for longer but if you're ye you can't be too upset about yeah, and if that if you get your medic out and you get your players out that's fine you know four minutes whatever get a third get a third hold witness stays alive narrowly gonna have to reset for that but michael he goes down and this heavy is on top of the silos Tsukima has a beam on him but medic has to drop down and they can't get out of spawn in time actually so despite them having full uber and players alive they have to just leave third they were not quick at all Sophie's already deep into last here up in lobby getting some good damage and gonna make witness eat up that sandwich Making sure he's never at too much health right there. The Uber's Marty gonna come used, out from yeah, both he's sides. He's one HP. He had to force. He took a pipe walking up, I think, and he's, he does go back down. That Uber's not gonna get much. Melon reflect jumping, pulling a Zukimo with Zukimo on her team, but does go down. Marty gonna go down to that pipe from Kirby. So that's a big pick. Medic advantage now for the defense. Yi gonna be able to play forward here, but Soapy coming to the back end. Takes down Sakura. Both meds are down, and the cleanup is in favor of Military Shovel. They're gonna get every kill out here on this fourth field, and they're gonna get the cart up to the first bend and probably cap. Soapy Meister's got no time to die because he was in a Bond film right there, being that deep undercover. Marty going down, but it's not going to matter as all the frags come out from Shovel. You know, no heals needed. They just had so much damage out there that they were able to clean them up, you know, even without the medics. So, Melon kind of get caught out on tracks. Get Evil's about to get a heavy pick for no reason. Oh, peaks. no, he got turned on. There's no way he lives. Okay, Evil dead, though. So, that's fine. Both meds going to be charging up the Uber. It's 50 for offense, 40 for defense. If they know how they have that advantage, they can push off it, but Evil did die, so he's probably not able to call it. Yeah, gun going to get built up here. It's level 1 right now. We'll have to see what teams decide to do. We know that uh, this team, Military Shovel, and the players on it like to do the thing where you stack card over and over again. We'll have to see if that's what they want to try to do here. Yeah, it's something that I know that Zuki swears by as uh, with his time spent on K and D. He's, and he's doing it with but already. Fallen's gonna find witness early. No heavy. That is a massive pick to find here. But all the frags going in favor of Yi Yi. Nabla and Jay Easy gonna be taking out Evil, finding the uh, counter espionage somewhere around the uh, cart. I want to say, but they almost had Uber there. Shovel did, and they just end up going more for a cart sack, which. I can appreciate it, right? I, guess. I can appreciate it because when you get the cart to the barrels here, like the, the toxic waste barrels, that's the position where you can one-shot a push, right? Because there's not much time you need on the cart left. You force the defense to drop down early, and that's when you get a good cleanup. So even if they do have Uber, I like this play. Well, we'll see if it turns out for them. Melon's going to get caught out early, as is Zukima there. Yeah, they have to drop it. See? see, they have to use it. They just have yeah. to. Do, and most importantly is Marty has not used he's back in spawn yeah yeah that's the play they have to do something about it eventually correct indeed and that card is careening <laughs> Sneeze into in, the yeah. abyss right now they can uber and i suppose well that gun's in a very forward position yeah all they have to do is uber like melon and uh demo man and have melon air blast up and the round gets ended Yep, here comes that Uber right there. Yeah, Exile, Exile and Melon. Exile and Melon. Oh, Melon gets dropped, though. That is no air blast. They're going to try to get on the cart. Gun goes down. It's almost capped up. Blank fighting the pyro, but he cannot get that kill. Now heavy demo on it. They're sacking for it. And eventually the players come in from upper and get that capture. So there's the cap. Seven minutes, 7.01 on the dot there for Shovel. It's faster than average. Still technically doable for Yi Yi, but they showed a great understanding of how to actually push Swift Water last there. Yeah, and I just feel like Yi Yi needed to do a better job of not letting that cart get so close. Like... You know, Swiftwater Last, I feel like, is one of the payload maps where there is no kind of rollback mechanic, right? I guess yeah, the they can only just keep, they can always right access now, the so. car, they can just keep going on it. You can't really stop them from getting there. Yeah, you can't be like, okay, well, as long as we kill them, it's fine. No, because every single inch they get is really not ever going to come back unless you can really, you know, block them off of it. So, Shovel doing what they did, yeah, and just getting that car time ends up working out. If, he was a little bit faster on the draw, able to maybe kill them before they got it that close. Maybe it ends up them just, you know, milking time and they're not able to cap it the way that they did, but the way the cookie crumbles, and I mean, 
You're hoping that Yi would be a little bit more prepared on Swiftwater, but I feel like that might, you know, that wasn't the cleanest look for them, but, you know, uh, might makes right, as you can say. So if they're able to show a clean offense here and take the half, it's not going to matter. The big disappointment was their third, because, like, they got players out of second. You know, they got four minutes out of it. Not amazing, not terrible, but then they needed to actually get some time at all on third. You can say they lose fourth because of the weird medic trade, whatever fourth snowballs happen, but the fact they were in such a good position on third and just weren't fast enough to do anything, so... Famfest's gun is even more forward than Austin's was. Yeah, she's staying there with the rescue ranger, gonna get out just in time before it takes too much damage. Blank sniped early by Michael PC1, so gonna try and deny this scout his 10k this game. Michael in the water going for one of those There's a shots, sticky trap above the car tunnel. It's gonna, it should get seen though. Noble gonna jump forward, try to get some damage. Evil gonna go down, gets Michael for his trouble, so that's at least nice. We'll deny that offensive sniper, but sticky trap, I'm not sure if anyone can call it. Yep, it does get dead so yeah. And uh, right, so Defense Soldier's on banner. I'm not sure how much Soapy has, but again, Soapy is amazing with these banner builds. Yeah, one thing I think that might be nice to look for here is a potential, uh, you know, return to monkey uh, side tunnel gun for spam fest should a fight <laughs> go bad. I know it's something they were talking about, that, you know, it's it's not the worst strategy if you're forced to kind of abandon upper. Just something to kind of keep an eye on here. Jay-Z dying here means he can't call where the combo's going. He saw them in tunnel, but now they're gonna rotate back up upper fast, and they're not really in position to deal with this. The Dremlin is too passive. Sticky's on the next shot, and they're gonna get the Uber in. They Pyro get Pyro Beast, though. Yeah, it was through the Sticky Traps, and he died to it. Now Pyro's in alone, trying to get anything. Almost takes down Melon, but Melon getting the beam will not die. Pyrus goes down instead. Quick scope by Fallen at point blank range, so Brutal. good shot by Fallen there. Yeah. But they didn't have to pop Uber military shovel, so they're looking in a really good spot here. That Uber from the offense just did not get in deep enough at all. Yeah, definitely. You know, dropping your demo there is really not the way to go. And I feel like the meta's kind of shifted to the point where you're probably better off with the tunnel Uber than the upper Uber in a lot of cases. Unless you know you're, you know, so much better than a team that you can just rely on them making a mistake. Which, after, you know, what we saw in Vigil, I don't think he can confidently say that they are the superior team by a large margin. Yeah, and there's the Soapy Banner. Comes off, gonna walk inside tunnel alone right now, doing damage. Gets the kill onto Dotwet versus three people. And he has that black box too, so he's gonna heal up. Scout now gonna join him in just a second here. Doing some damage, gets the mini, but yeah, that push forces the offense out of side tunnel completely. Spamfest has died though to a shot from Michael PC1, so the gun should die, and he does get that kill too. Right, Witness did go down though, so for this Uber coming up, he will not be in it immediately. And there goes Iris as well, dying to... Probably a body shot and a rocket at the same time, it looks like. So yeah, and they're Ubering the tunnel damage there. But yeah, they're Ubering without two of their combo members here. And Marty is, you know, snoozing on this Uber. Will eventually pop out to go try to chase kills into tunnel. Meets up with Blank. And uh, Kura gonna go down quickly. Austin next to fall. So they will get the Uber. 161 seconds. Marty held on to that one, which means we're about three minutes in. Yeah, I could have told that off the clock if I wanted, <laughs> but... <laughs> Four minutes left on the clock here, and if Yi doesn't make something happen soon, they're uh, not going to be looking in a great spot for this map. Yeah, chances would be zero. They're going for something a bit different here. They have their demo man in tunnel with their medic and their heavy uh, soldier up top. So looks like they want to try and do like a flanked out push where they try to collapse in. But evil a 2k onto Michael and Kirby. So even if Jay Z gets one back, that like, you can't push that offensive demo man. Yeah, but he has their spawns other than Jay-Z, though, so if they're able to get people quickly and go in here, Sakura is on 90. There is an add on Sakura off of how late Marty popped in that prior river. If they go right now, they might be able to do something, because Exile, I think, is just spawning. And yeah, they're going. And there they go. Yeah, Uber onto the gun. They're trying to get it down. It kept, stayed, kept alive by Spamfest. Spamfest will die for it, and the gun gets taken down in the end. So at least there's that, but they did lose Dotwet and Pyrus in the Uber. Gonna have to get those spawners up. Michael PC1 has gone down as well. Evil revolvering him in the back. So they get the gun, but not much else for uh, VE here, and they need to make something happen. They don't even get the Uber, actually, because the Uber was late, so they don't even get that. And now it looks like they're gonna have to arrow Zuki. Zuki was getting arrows to get kept alive. Great job by Marty to keep him alive there. Yeah, trying to pin cushion his heavy right there. He's still up, getting the beam on him now. Pyrus can be forced back. Witness and Novel pushing into upper, are actually going to clear it out. Spamfest's mini finds the kill onto Witness. That gun has about two health remaining. Going to get a top back up, but Marty has Uber here playing close with Zuki in case they go for the tunnel push right here. So upper is having people back into it. It's really just Sophie Axile's up there too now, so it's still going to be difficult to get in. And Double's looking really solid here. 
Yeah, that said, Spamfest does go down to a headshot. Mini Sentry will die in just a second. Zuki goes down as well. Yeah, they drop Zuki in that Uber. They are going to go forward here just with Exile, trying to get something. They're going to get Sniper only, but that's about it. Fallen does go down to a spy in the back line. Jay-Z will get caught out and taken down here in just a second. Demo Man though, Kirby's gets stabbed by that? Evil, so making a big play in return. Upper push happened in the meantime, but they get cleaned up instantly by the explosive classes of Shovel. And two minutes left, and Shovel still are standing tall here. Sakura watched Evil just drop off from like the upper side of tunnel and must have just not realized he was a spy as he just beelined for Kura on cart and takes him out. I mean, I don't think too much changes there. He will get Michael there, too, though, just to uh, make sure that the pick classes aren't able to find anything. That with two minutes left, I'm gonna, I'm feeling pretty confident this one's going over to trouble. Yeah, it's getting close to the impossible, like, realm, just with the time standards, and Uber comes in from Yi into upper. They're gonna try to get anything. It looks like they do have position this time. Kirby's is dropping on to Marty. Can't get anything, though, and will die. Pyrus gets cleaned up as well, and the kills are going in favor of Yi, or in, a uh, Shovel, excuse me. They only lose Melon, and now Sophie dies in that post of Dawet, but... They keep everyone else alive, and they're going to hold low ground here. Spy dropping on Zuki's head gets floated back up, so not going to find that stab. And yeah, at this point, the round's impossible. Shovel win this one. Yeah, with only a minute left. So, I'm... I'm not entirely sure how Yi proceeds here, right? Because I feel like the, their upper pushes... This is their map pick, remember? So I was hoping they'd be a little bit more practice on it, maybe have a little bit more research, but these constant exchanges through upper, I feel like kind of speaks to the opposite of that. So they tried a couple push through tunnel, but they just weren't actually executed well. Like the, the push through tunnel that we saw, right? Were solos onto your demo man where they just had demo medic out of tunnel. And that's not going to do anything. You'll get the gun, sure, but you're not going to get anything else. People just going to collapse onto you in post and then take them out of the tunnel back. We saw every time what would happen is the Uber would get forced out, Zuki would drop down close, and they wouldn't be able to kill Zuki, and then they would just hold close tunnel shovel. So there's just not enough like thought done on how these pushes are going to work for Yee here. They have like the, okay, we can try to do this for our push, but they don't actually know where people are going on it. I heard, a, I heard an exile taunt somewhere after killing Austin. As, uh, yeah, the mini put up in yeah, it's tunnel, that time. it's sniped out, stat pad time. They're all inside tunnel right here. Fallen loses the SVS, clip it. He's going down, yeah, Zuki's just uh, firing off into the air a little bit. Card's still not going to get capped, and it will be a second hold coming out. Is that a second for... hold or a timeout? Or a time I mean, up, it's rather. a timeout, but seven minutes in and they haven't capped second yet. Yeah, Something's te telling te they yeah weren't... technically it's a timeout. They weren't it's a time too out. close. Either way, uh, not close. Bit of a dominant performance there from Shovel. As yeah, they're looking and... pretty primed to 2 of this uh, map and 2 of the series. They're definitely eyeing that third place medal at minimum. They they want their rematch against 3600 next week. Or or uh, Hood, if Hood d does lose that match. I'm not exactly sure that one's going. But yeah, th this is a team that's determined to actually make a splash in playoffs and not fizzle out. Yeah, if you want to pull, if you want to check logs on this, I'm going to go scout out the hood logs real quick. Sure thing. And we have ready up immediately. It seems that FaZe, or excuse me, Yi just want to go with it and just roll, see what they can do here. Offense again. Actually, no, that was a re-exec, so we will be waiting here just a bit longer. Hopefully, we want to talk things over a bit. As Dolphin has the yeah, logs up on our screen. Late. Michael PC1 has 17 kills. That's pretty impressive considering his team kind of got stomped. Yeah, no, I mean, we saw him do well in that first half of Vigil as well, so he's, you know, maybe kind of the, the lone ranger here. As an update on the Hood versus 3600 match, Hood took Vigil to nothing. That was their pick, and they are currently on Asheville, and Hood is up 2-1 here. So, you know, f four rounds to win, but things looking good for them so far, so. 3600 going to need to step it up here if they want to force that to map three and, you know, take the first map off of Hood all season. Yeah, Hood's still undefeated and haven't dropped a single map yet, so definitely looking for that, you know, flawless season of invite if they could get it through. But, you know, two more match, one and a half more matches left for that one to see if they can do that. Right now, focusing back in on this map, or on this match, there's not really much we can say for Yi. It's just they, they look like the worst team overall. They look like they're not coordinated. They don't know exactly what to do on the map. They look like they're just outclassed individually. It's just not looking good for them, and... We, we did expect this. We expected Shovel to be the better team. We expected them to heat up as playoffs went on. That's just the kind of players and the team that they had put together. But for it to be this decisive shows 
I don't think it shows negatively on Yi, honestly. I, th- I feel like it just shows that Shovel are here to play. Like, they struggled some in the regular season. They had their fair share of issues. People, you know, complaining, having motivation trouble. But now they're here to play. Like, this is a team that wants to contest for upper ranks and playoffs, higher tier medals, and higher tier cash rewards. And they, they're they looking good. Like, we'll have to see what happens in their potential rematch next week if these results that we have do hold. But, yeah, this team looks strong. Much stronger than we would peg them for in the regular season. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, since I'm a bit of an enthusiast on this regard, I might say it reflects a little bit poorly on Yee's pick ban process here. Because, you know, unless this is either their first or second best map, right? Should you be. know, unless unless Steel is their best map, which I don't necessarily think it was. I mean, I'm not I'm not sure where their strengths where they feel their strengths lie, but you generally hope for a little bit more of a comprehensive showing from a team on their map pick. You know, maybe this is their best map pick, right? And Shovel's just, you know, peaking right now? You know, you, you can't rule that process out, you know, or that uh that fact out. We did see Shovel, you know, take a... Well, I saw Shovel take a half off of Hood in pregame, so they're definitely, you know, coming in on a high right here, but... Yeah, I just, you know, we're gonna see the offense start from Yi here with uh, their season on the line. So I'm hoping to see something just a little bit more inspired. You know what I mean? Yeah, don't get held on second. This is your last performance in Invite if you do. Yeah. Well, for the season, I doubt, for the season. Uh, yeah. I doubt they're going to be done with Invite. I mean, I, I do think it's worth noting here that I believe this is Yi Yi's fourth season as a team. Having started in Amateur. Yeah, if I'm so. right, they started in amateur and within one season got moved, or they started in newcomer, got moved from newcomer to amateur, amateur to IM, one IM, moved up into main, one main, then, or no, this is their. Fifth they played season, Challenger I think. last season, or like two seasons ago, didn't they? Yeah, they won IM, they won main, they played Challenger, they were low invite last season, and you know, now they're. Playoffs. In, you know, in playoffs, yeah, so. This is still an extremely young team, so I think a lot of the kind of reflexes and natural habits and like thoughts on certain maps might not just be developed there yet. And we see that in some of their less conventional, you know, plays and pushes, which worked really well the regular season. It's why they're able to be froggy. It's why they're here right now. But you know, it's it's kind of that tragic moment when the young upstarts realize why the meta is the way it is. I feel like. Or at least, like, what, what it would take to actually beat the top three teams that we have in Invite, you know, every season. There's there's two or three teams that are clearly above the rest of the level of Invite, and it's mostly full of experienced players or players with, you know, a bunch of pedigree behind them. They're just some of the best that get picked up. So when you see this happen to yourselves in playoffs as EE, you just, like, realize, you know, there's a lot more to do here if you want to be competitive in playoffs moving forward into future seasons. And it's a learning experience for sure. We, I don't want to talk as if they're already, you know, done, like... Yeah, we might say it's a, it's a pretty foregone conclusion, but they still have this offense here, and we'll, we'll focus in on that a bit here. Second push going to come up. Nothing out of the ordinary happened. I was watching for it. And, uh, yeah, if they can show something different here, that's a start, right? I don't want to see them get held one second. Yeah, I'd, I'd really like to see them push something here. And, again, just I want to see something a little bit different, maybe a little bit more coordination with Jay Easy. Maybe, you know, take a page out of Shovels, but go for the crits play. That's one of my, that's one of my pet theories, pushing uh, pushing second. Jay Easy, you know, a big pick. I'm falling. Yeah, getting that sniper is something that I feel like really was missing that entirety, the entirety of that last offense from them. So they clearly want to go for something here. Kara's uh, towing the line in the tunnel, but he's going to go down, and that indecision will cost them, as despite having even Ubers and Fallen dead, they squander the opportunity, and Kara just gets caught out, you know, in No Man's Land. Yeah, they do get the kill into Evil, find him, so no shenanigans coming out from that spy for Shovel. And Michael has moved into the side tunnel here. He has a flank backing him up. Fallen scoped on it, they know like he's relatively there. Michael gonna relocate because of it into main tunnel. He's trying to decide where he wants to peek from, but Uber gonna come out in main here, trying to spam the gun down. It gets ranked last second, but gets taken down in time. Exile gonna get the counter Uber in, gonna get a flash, and they drop Kirby's flash in for blank, gonna take down Pyrus as well. Dot one witness all dropping, and that's the clean wipe. This is the problem with their tunnel pushes, is they're not actually getting space. We see every time what happens is in post, shovel come down and they just spread the field, they get tons of damage, tons of cleanup, and it looks like a total wash yeah you need to have you need to have more presence coming in from side tunnel you know maybe you have someone distracting an upper or or alternatively you use that uber shovel held milk that for a long time you might want to use that just to flood as many people as you can out of tunnel and just take ground on second you know make them shoot at different people but they just stay hold up 
and make it to that exile shooting fish in a barrel wherever he shoots stickies he's gonna hit three people yeah and then we see blank come in and get clean up and everyone just collapses banner out here from soapy has already built it gonna try and do some damage michael goes down in that entryway to the tunnel and there's evil on the back line 2k onto nabla and witness that soldier going down with the heavy exile gets killed though by jay easy that they can make something happen off the demo pick both of those stabs and upper were right next to each other and the two ice sculptures were like arms interlocked almost it was it was, it was, it was a pretty sight okay this but, time uh, they have the gun and they have more than two people on a tunnel but they're taking a lot of damage austin left on card dawet is going to clean up blank at least but gets taken down from the sky heavy zukima killing him and they do get sakura on the back out evil gonna chase him down or chase her down and that's another complete wipe they, their medics alive too fallen and blank the only casualties and yeah looking one side again there's still a lot of time seven and a half minutes at um, maximum i feel like my hud's broken so I'll reload that for real quick, but yeah, Shovel's still looking strong. Nabla actually snuck in through upper there and found Fallen as a free kill. Zuki stared at him. Zuki only had about 50, 48, 40 to 50 HP remaining. Death didn't know that. Dipped down and got killed by a reflex. In other words, if he kills Zuki and takes that high ground, you know, maybe maybe we see a bit of a, you know, the push continue out of E, but that damage wasn't, you know, communicated effectively, so not able to follow up on it. You know, Jace is actually on the dead ringer right now. He dead ringers out into the house. Evil's going to try and chase him down here. Spy be spy. This is what we need. Evil shredding him in it. And going to take him down with that butter knife. Espionage war going in the favor of evil there as now both meds about to come up on Uber. So the real fight begins. Yeah, the, the slap fight over in house with the butter knives going back and forth. Fallen is staring into upper here. And he's going to drop witness right as the Uber comes out. Great shot. Kura's gonna go for the gun and will take it. Memphis is gonna rebuild the middle of the bridge though, as they get almost no ground. JEC sneaking in through the window behind, but Exile's gonna pull the bottle out on him, force him back. Zuki will pop that dead ringer. Michael PC one dead though, so they are free to play wide right here. And Fallen takes out JEC for the second time with that quick scope. So again, just a lack of advantage is really being able to be found by EZ here. Yeah, Pyrus tried his best to walk in and make something happen. Didn't get anything, got cleaned up. Engineer up top, gonna peek. Witness goes down with the help of Melon. And 100% Uber up for Marty right now. Uh, only 50 for Sakura, so you have to build this one a bit. Uh, reload on my HUD. We're about three and a half minutes left until the timer times out on the second hold. And that will be the end of this round if that happens. So, yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen for Yi Yi. Fallen gonna get a pick onto Nabla means he hasn't and not gonna be able to pressure anything. As Uber, 80% for Sakura. They're building it outside the tunnel here, and now they walk in. Yeah, um, quick update. We are on match point for Hood versus uh, 3600 3 1 on Asheville, but yeah, the Ubers will both be even here. Soapy's gonna get sniped out, so no banner to potentially uh, come up big in a post fight here, but again, they're just gonna have to actually use off of it as the Uber looks like it will be through upper again. Leading in on Pyrus, they do not drop anyone this time. Curry getting some good damage out, will catch out Zuki. Marty gonna be forced to use in here now in the staircase. This is one, they did it. Spamfest is down. They just need to make sure that Soapy coming in up top isn't able to, uh, new cart, but Nabla coming in, find Soapy, or, uh, uh, Marty, excuse me, on the balcony. Okay, three man on cart, Soapy, Melon, and Blank. They're cleaning up everyone, though. Six kills. Melon on a 6k. Dawit, Nabla get killed as well. And that three man cell actually wiped the cart in its entirety. And now spawners are coming back in. Melon defends the cart from Jay Easy. Gonna get that kill. Oh, no, gets away just in time, but Melon's still standing tall here. Gonna get support here from Zukima. As now offense coming back in through apartments. Jay-Z gonna go down instantly though. Yeah, they do have the high ground though. Spamfest gonna go down. Melon too, but Sakura gets sniped out by Fallen. Frags being traded back and forth everywhere. Oh, There's only up. seven players up, but it's, it was a 5v2 for Shovel right there. Witness gonna go down. Tsukima gets caught out between him and Evil. Crossfire takes him out, no problem. Kura's gonna be a bit of a Oh, Jay-Z versus Evil. Spy one's going. Evil, he's, he's running away. He's too scared. And Jay-Z, he's gonna get out, maybe? Yeah, so neither spy goes down that time, but yeah. That point looked capped. That was the best chance ye have had this entire map, and the three-man of Soldier, Pyro, Scout, clean up everything. Those offense classes, as TF2 dubs them, gonna hold that card. Now Banner's back out for Soapy. Yeah, gonna pop it here. Not entirely sure what he gets Nabla, so I guess needed that to kill the Soldier, but... Like that might have been able to use a little bit better, but Marty very close on Uber here. Oh god. Kura gonna get dropped again. And they're going out. They're Michael Uber PC1 it. is not long for this world, but no, great denial out of Pyrus. Gonna keep him up there. We'll go down for it, but really only the... I'm gonna say one frag. Kura was dead regardless of whether or not that Uber came in on that Uber. So, 
Sakura on 80. Might get in soon. And there is Jay Easy finding Marty in spirals. So, another opportunity Full presents Uber itself Ad. for If you Yee can't Yee. cap second here, you can't cap it ever. A minute left on the clock for Yee, Yee to salvage some pride in this one. Let's see what they do. They pop immediately through apartments. They're gonna Uber in, try to get some damage. Soapy exile, evil, all go down. Gun, it's it's the monkey gun, like you said. It's over tunnel, but does get taken out. Spamfest will live for now. Gun. But they do have players up. Oh, soccer in the back line gets sniped by Fallen. Michael returns the favor onto Zukima, and Fallen goes down as well. But this is it. The full Uber advantage, and they're gonna cap second. Let's go, yee yee. There we go. 8.05 coming Ooh, two. in Let's go. on the second cap. That might be a high score. <laughs> Actually, no, I've seen a captain overtime more than enough times. That is definitely not a high score, but it's probably up score. there on the, uh, on, the, on the rankings, on the rankings. Yeah, as now as we're a... on to third, Jay-Z dead ringers into the spawn, but gets killed by an arrow from Marty there. Fallen railing off headshots, Paris Austin going down, headshots another one Where as well. this has gotten it stuck into heaven somehow, will come yeah. down to Zuki, but... Okay, they're all dead, including position. Sakura. Uh, Blank chased down three in that fight, so getting the medic and soldier to clean it up, and... Yeah, we're on to third here, so the brief moment of celebration for Yi, now the reality hits them. They have 240 to push third, and they have no Uber. They've extended their suffering. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much. As, uh, you want to give a congratulations to Hood Naruto uh, for first winning team and grands. their match, yep, and will make it into grands. So, that means 3600 will be dropping down to face the winner of this match. Likely I wonder who it'll be. Shovel. I wonder who. At this point, I mean, never Can't say tell. never. Look at this gun from the spam fest. I haven't seen this gun in years on top of the roof, wrangling into the apartments to help Sophie. Kirby's gonna have to go back. He takes a lot of damage. Jay-Z goes down, not able to find anything on his uh, excursion into the enemy spawn. As now Demo Man, Pyro working, doing some work. Blank is 1v1ing Dotwet, and Blank gonna demolish him, actually. Yeah, but Yi, now they are in the apartments. Gonna get stabbed. Michael and Kirby's going down to Evil there. I don't know how many kills Evil has. He's second on the scoreboard for his team. Spamfest with the jump! She's That's gonna crazy. get a boy list. There you go. She didn't even, like, rescue ranger that. Just, you know... Yeah, you jumped jump and you right-clicked with wrench. It. Yeah, yeah, just right-clicked it fast enough. High That's APM great. engineer gameplay. No one does it better than Spamfest. You're watching it here. You know, you mentioned when was the last time you saw an 8-minute third hold. It definitely wasn't as long as you made it out to Okay, they're like... ignoring the spy. Look, look, look. The Uber comes out of Red Room, but the gun is above them. Kura only realizes halfway through. Just gonna shoot Stickies and just stand still and get sniped out. Spamfist lured him into a false sense of security with that uh, conventional gun spot. Austin caught on the dispenser. <laughs> Has to jump over it. That's normally a spy block, not an engine Austin, block. Austin's uh, gonna burn out. Gets taken out by Zukima. And now Zuki and Marty are in the choke here with Exile. Spy gonna get that kill to witness. Witness saw red there. He felt like he could get those kills, but got his day ruined by a backstab. Jay-Z gonna die as well. He's spawn died for a couple lives in a row now. 50 seconds left. Is there another miracle in the cards for Yi Yi? I think there very well could be, but Dawa and Pyrus are going to go down. Snuggle will back. get the gun down, but yeah, Cart is rolling back. As, uh... Evil 70% find... both meds. Yeah, evil will find Noblis, so no soldier to kill bomb in, though. So, gonna help, uh... Or hurt not having that kind of entry fragger, but... There is Fallen getting sniped out, so no sniper means they can kind of play wide here. Witness dropping down. Hima on park, uh, getting Kirby assassinated died. by Austin. Uber will come out, though. Sakura only at 95 will go down before she can get it a little bit over aggro there. And it looks like a third hold will come in, so... Honestly, Shovel looking kind of weak. Old Shovel would have held that on second. By old, I mean Shovel from, like, 30 minutes ago. Yeah, I, I missed the old Shovel, too. As, uh, <laughs> we, hear, we hear overtime coming in. Novel is padding his KD. How dare you not go for more DPM there? Yeah, that's the half. That's not the game, by the way. It's just the half. But uh, everyone's morale and their minds tell them that is the game. Eight minutes through two. If the if if shovel somehow can't do eight through two, they just have to cap three, and then it's over. It'll be the sweep of these lower bracket round one match. Yeah, and all I'm gonna say is I had a scrim in main last season where we didn't cap second, and then we also hard held them on second. So. We didn't we have a match where that almost happened? I think it was uh, what was it? Somebody help versus MTS. Yeah, it was somebody help. Two ago, it had to have been a somebody help match because I remember was, what you're talking about. It was somebody help versus MTS, right? And I remember that vividly because after watching MTS almost lose to them, we were like, all right, 
we're not going to cast them next week. Then they go in and they go out and upset MCM, and everyone yells at us for casting the wrong match. Goes to yeah. show uh, how involved my ego is and my feelings on these things. But yeah, eight through two is a. Uh... <laughs> Melon puts in chat. We're taking this to Ash. <laughs> Intentionally throwing match fixing for betters. I'm not to deny them their winnings this season for that. Yeah. Nabla going for the spawn bomb, trying to catch <laughs> Marty out. He bombs we'll the telly and Fallen. Let's go. <laughs> Fallen is screaming down in the chat multiple times with multiple question marks. That one was personal, actually. We know that one. Yeah, Nabla just puts in easy for me. He then repeats afterwards. <laughs> uh, but ooh, Melon on the flog. Gonna find the kill onto Witness, and if you're killing a heavy with the flog, you're probably pretty close to charge. Yeah, I want to see the Arts of Spanian classic here. I want to see the Pyro go through upper with that flog and kill the entire team. Is that the Arts? I feel like I've seen Arts do it more than anyone else recently. Recently, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I I'm biased because I played with him, but... Anytime I think of Flog, I think of BM back on, uh... Yeah, that's so long ago, though. <laughs> I say it's so yeah. long ago, that's like season 25 or something of UGC, but like, even that that's was years ago. seasons ago, I mean... Yeah. Alright, we're lining up here. Melon has the Flog. Here Pop we go. in the charge. Marty gonna get the Uber. Let's see where this goes. Running in, air blasted, and counter Uber. That was so anticlimactic. Oh, but she makes oh, the Flog! Oh, no, gets... <laughs> Melon gets the kill on Kirby's and gets out to third. Melon gonna live another day. Blank and Spamfest and Soapy have died. Jay-Z stabbing Fallen. I'd say that was worth it. <laughs> One for four. Fallen is on third, though. Yeah, yeah, she's in behind. <laughs> Gonna be able to get that flank play. She's waiting underneath the retreat. <laughs> she's, she, is she gonna wait here the entire time? But if they cap, they just win. Yeah, so if they, the if they, yeah there's no purpose. <laughs> I see the thought process. When the medic drops down, I'll get him. But, like, the medic's never dropping down this game. <laughs> Maybe she's just hiding there, making there them forget comes. that there she's behind. There she comes, jumping up! Come they in, jump jump back! Is she gonna find someone? No, doing some damage. damage on the pirates. We're I'm just... invested in the Melon Flank. Right? Even though they're pushing out a tunnel, Kirby's Jay's gonna go down. Oh, melon sure Flank, oh, okay, she gets shredded. Never mind. The rest of the team's on a tunnel, by the way. They're pushing up to second here. Capture, gonna go across just a few seconds unless Witness can get it. But Witness gets stabbed. 2k for evil. Closing us out, medic and heavy. Big play. Second gets captured. We are done. Yep, and a, uh, a fairly simple... 204 shovel coming in here. So, this will unfortunately end Yee Yee's season, but, you know, I don't think ultimately they can really complain about too much, as uh, I don't, you know, coming into this, right? You remember back in week one when we were talking about how they might have been, you know, fighting to uh, be one of those teams talked about in the playoff picture? Well, they beat Squirt Yay. You could say they killed Squirt Yay, <laughs> and then beat Froggy Land and made it into playoffs. So, you know, don't let this, you know, match, even though it didn't look great, you know, kind of undersell their season because in their second season in, in Invite, they made playoffs, which is a really, really, you know, good accomplishment on their end. And it only speaks to, you know, the improvement they can look forward to in the future. Yeah, the potential for this team definitely is high. They have a lot to improve on, as we saw here tonight, but they are going to be able to do that if they stick together as a team. Their biggest accomplishment this season, in my mind, is denying DC playoffs, so I can make fun of them for that. Very nice. I, I'll upvote that. Yeah, but logs are on your screen. Military shovel dominating. I'm gonna pull this up real quick. Let's see who top fragged. Uh, Evil doesn't surprise me. He was fragging out the entirety of that Swiftwater game. Yeah, when you get to hold tunnel for seven minutes as spy, you tend to get a lot of frags. And uh, yeah, and then Blank and Soapy as well. You know that tunnel squad really, really stepping up big there and contributing to that. Zuki only three deaths, as is Melon. You know, just showing how few openings he ever really had when they were pushing. So, with that, though, we will be seeing the lower bracket finals next week. You know, uh, Shovel has claimed placement this season. They will finish at least third place. And we'll see them against uh, 3600 next week, you know. Going the rematch for that of the rematch. season. Yeah, I think that should be a really, really good match to uh, look out for. Yeah, that'll be the good matchup, and we promise. Well, hopefully. I mean, we've already seen it be good. That that matchup went until, like, what was it? 12.30, I want to say? One? Last week? So, definitely a long one. And uh, I doubt we'll see Lakeside again. So, probably that first map might be even a little bit closer, too. And if, if Shovel, that 
I saw in pregame and we saw in the match that shows up next week, I think it's going to be really competitive. Yeah, we'll have to see how that one turns out. So make sure you join us next week for that match. We're coming up on the tail end of the Highlander season here. Only two matches left to go. We got three teams all vying for that first and second place prize increases. Minimum third for these two next week. But yeah. That'll be it for us for tonight. Thank you all for coming out to watch. Real quick, if you want to get all the latest TF2 drip to show off to all your friends from the it. RGL merch store, check it out in chat, exclamation point merch. We have amazing designs such as Minimalist Sunshine, the Overgrown Scattergun, and the newly introduced Witness Gaming merch to celebrate their win in invite last season over Froyo. So check all that out. The proceeds go to all of our hardworking staff here at RGL, including us. So if you want to support us, exclamation point merch, get yourself some cool things and thank you for supporting rgl we, we got him dolphin he, he said it again i said it last time we cast it too because like i just read it off the thing it's last uh, work we for broke me him. we broke him but yeah we've also got uh the witness gaming fundraiser going on so i believe it's a commission point witness in chat i know mubot's been putting it up every once in a while so if you want to contribute to the Witness Gaming uh, Copenhagen Land Fund to fly an entire team of TF2 players across an ocean to a different continent and get some pretty great swag or drip, you know, for uh, for your donation, then definitely check that out. But otherwise, I think that'll do it from us. So, Zach, any closing thoughts on tonight's match? I'm just excited for next week. We have two teams on a collision course that they've been on since the start of the season. They're ramping up, getting hot, and this is going to be probably the match of the season. I, I can only hope that it is, and uh, I just need to fulfill an obligation that I have, and uh, shout out Underoos, so with that, I think that'll do it from us, so have a good night, should have, I uh, believe we've got sixes matches later this week, Dolphin, confirmed tonight? Uh, we're um, unaware, have not been scheduled, yet, but at the very least, we'll probably get one, probably get one at the very least. We'll be back for you on Monday, so hang tight until then. You know, should have a good one then, so definitely make sure to tune in. But thank you for watching, and have a good night.